Hi, I'm Laureen from Herbescent Tea and Botanicals. I'm the founder and formulator of all the Herbescent Teas. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how to brew quality loose leaf tea. And there's various ways, as you can see here, and how to do it that make it very easy, convenient, and simple. And you'll find brewing loose leaf tea imparts more character and flavor, more benefits and essential oils for healing than opposed to other options of tea bags that you might find in the marketplace. So I want to show you how easy it is and how much more enjoyable it is with the whole sensory experience of brewing loose leaf tea. So first I'd like to show um, the spring-loaded mesh ball. It's a stainless steel mesh ball and you simply fill half of the basket with your loose leaf tea of choice and you don't you only want to fill half of this basket to allow the herbs and the teas to expand um, and this allows the essential oils to come out in your brew in your cup so you just put place this in your cup and you would brew just like you would a tea bag um, you know depending on what type of tea you've got in here you might brew it for two minutes three minutes five minutes and so forth now the next uh, infuser, people call them various names, infusers, strainers, um, you'll hear different names for these types of um, ways of brewing tea. So this is a cute little teapot strainer that is best suited for maybe a tiny little teacup if you want to do a traditional teacup um, because the surface area or the amount of area for the herbs to expand is small so you can put less tea in here so you wouldn't want to really use this for a mug but more for a small teacup like this. So again you're going to place a little bit of tea in here, maybe a half a teaspoon here for this type of, of teacup. Close it like so, and then add this into your cup and add your hot water. And again, depending on what type of tea you're using, you're going to use different temperatures and um, uh, for depending on, again, what type of tea you're using. So, and then when your tea is done brewing, you would take this out and this tray serves as a drip tray. And then you've got your tea. Uh, to enjoy. Next, this is another lovely tea infuser strainer and it's got a shallow basket as you can see which is different from this type of basket and this would be more suited for a cup like this again a nice traditional teacup because you know when you get a larger mug like this it may fit and seem fine but you don't have a large deep basket for the herbs to expand and um, brew properly so this would be again best suited for the teacup and you would just again add a teaspoon or so of your tea, add your boiling water and let it steep. And then next we have the larger tea strainer. And this has a deeper basket as I shared earlier and you're going to put this in a larger mug or it can be used in a teapot like this. And you can place this in here, add your tea, and of course it's one teaspoon of tea per cup generally. And then when I have larger brewing apparatus I would like to put an extra teaspoon for the for the pot is how we say it um, and then of course when this is done brewing you can take this out add your lid or you can even put the lid on top to keep it warm and and then you would add the lid after taking this out and now for the cup you do it the same way um, again just a teaspoon of tea or maybe a teaspoon and a half for a large mug like this to get the best uh, flavor now my favorite way to brew tea is in the tea press or they might you might see them be called coffee press or a French press and you can find this in various places in the marketplace and it's very very simple and easy so you would just lift this lid out and this makes about two and a half cups of tea so here you would put about two and a half teaspoons I would probably put three I like to put an extra one again when you have a bigger um, container to brew your tea and then I will demonstrate this one here and I'll put three teaspoons of tea and this is actually a rooibos tea it's really lovely with flowers and rooibos and lavender it's a nice relaxing tea and then you're going to add your hot water now with this herbal tea it's a rooibos tea so I'm using boiling water for this tea and then you would add the lid like so and you leave this portion of the strainer apparatus sitting on top and for most of my herbal teas I like to brew them for about 15 minutes when you have them in a, a, a container like this 
And this is, again, is going to longer steeping time imparts more benefits, more character and flavor. Um, and I can't say that for all teas. I'm speaking specifically of herbescent botanical loose leaf teas. Um, my teas will get bitter, not better, the longer you steep them. So this rooibos tea, you could steep this up to a half an hour. So you have to kind of see what best suits you. Um, uh, the longer steeping is going to impart more of a robust flavor, especially if you choose to use this as an iced tea. So what I like to do is actually brew it for about 10 minutes to start. I'll push it down like this, and this strains all of the tea. And then I might pour myself, again, after 15 minutes. It's only been sitting here a couple for demonstration. And then I would like to leave it in here to brew longer for maybe, like I said, a half hour or so and put it in the refrigerator um, and then push it down when it's ready to when you're ready to drink it and you'll have a cold container of tea and you can pour it over ice for iced tea. This is my very favorite way of brewing loose leaf tea. And it allows the herbs to expand, the essential oils to come out, and, and it's just wonderful. And I have another size here just to demonstrate that these do come in various sizes. Um, and you can also, for iced tea, use a basket like this in a container similar to this or a big large container. You can use any type of glass container to make your sun tea. Um, I live in Arizona. My company's out of Arizona. So we make a lot of sun tea out here. Um, but you know, anywhere in the summer you can find a nice sunny spot for three to five hours and it'll brew a nice sun tea for you. So here I like to actually just throw my loose leaf tea in and sit it in the sun and then maybe pour it through something like this to strain the tea. Um, when you put it into another container. Or you could use something like this and steep that and put that in a, in a, a jar. Um, and then put it in the fridge and pour over ice when you're ready to consume it. And for traveling, those who love their loose leaf tea, I have a traveling apparatus here, which is very convenient, um, where you actually put the tea in this portion of the uh, traveling container and then it's got a strainer here so when you're ready to drink it you actually just sip through this top portion and it strains all of your loose leaf tea. It's really lovely and convenient and fast. Um, for those of us who really are accustomed to our loose leaf tea this is a really convenient way to take your tea on the go. I just love this and it keeps it nice and hot. Um, you can also put it in the fridge and have iced tea as well. And that's it for today, and I thank you for watching, and thank you for visiting Herbescent Tea and Botanicals.